afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa Armo with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Happy Memorial Day. I'm here today with Pam. Pam is a new trader. She's thinking about the market. She's been interested in the market. She's been following some things on Facebook. And Pam came to visit today, and Pam has some questions. And so, welcome, Pam. Thank you, Melissa. Um, I have my first question is I'm a new follower, uh, new to your stock room, and I noticed that on Facebook, you mentioned about a certain stock that did well that people were saying were, were not going to do well, and you wrote that you predicted it, but then since I had not seen previous posts, I wanted to know mm -hmm. what did you predict, because I think maybe that should have just maybe been re-explained in a bur blurb. So what was your prediction Oh, for I that? see what you're saying. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, first of all, I know you know I talk about this trading strategy, mm -hmm. but you really know what a gap is. Like, I know you heard Grant talking about it. Do you know what a gap is? Because I was, let's go back to that originally. I was predicting the gap. Do you know what a gap is? Not completely. I think okay. I have an idea, but not a full grasp on the, top, on the uh, concept. I think that the day that you were talking about was, okay, this is a chart of Netflix. This is what it is. These are just candlesticks. And these candlesticks here depict price action that the stock traded on the day. The red ones mean the price went lower in the day, and the green ones mean the price went up on the day, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So I predicted that Netflix would gap up. It had an earnings announcement. This was here on 416. The earnings happened at night. So I predicted this would gap up. But I want to describe to you what a gap is, because this is what I, really what I do every day. This okay. is what I do every day. Sure. Um, the stock closed at 475.46 on the night of April 15th, and then it had earnings, and in the next morning, the stock price opened at 532. So that is what a gap is. That's just, it gapped up. So this is what I'm looking to analyze in the morning when I get up. Mm -hmm. So Netflix gapped up. Now, I like the shorts. I like things to gap down, but in this case, it gapped up. I predicted this to gap up. So let's just say you had 100 shares of this. So I'm breaking it down to try to break it down for you. It closed at 475. It opened the next day at 532. Okay. So if you had a hundred shares of that, it moved up fifty dollars in price. Okay. That means you would have made five grand okay. just sitting on your butt. Okay. I got you. Which is good. And that's what you <laughs> and, right. and that's what you trade in every day on what you predict what you feel like the gap is going to be between what? Day over like overnight or hour by hour? This is actually just an extra thing I started doing with the room, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I really just do this for so with the predictions. Okay. I'm looking, I just wait till it does it, till, till I actually get in the train. Okay. But the predictions I'm making for the gap itself, which mm -hmm. is not what I teach in the class, but is what I do in the live trading room, is something that people in the trading room are taking advantage of. Okay. Because my predictions have been good. Okay. So they're saying, ooh, and then like a guy in the room did this, okay. and it worked, and he made money, and I didn't do it. Now, the day of, I'm looking to do this, but I'm saying he just said, I think Melissa's predictions is going to turn out to be true, and it did, and he made money. And so then the next day, it gapped up again. The next day, it gapped up, okay. and then it ran, low was 530, it ran up to 568, so that's a $38 run okay. so again if you would have just waited to the day of mm -hmm. bought 100 shares right then the next day that little green this one it went, went up, up still it went up to 575 and that would have been your overnight you game. could you could have carried okay. it here yeah but but uh, but the, the amazing thing is and i don't know if this is one of the posts that was on facebook or not is that i mean pam you didn't know me then but i predicted this gap up to happen here in 2013 and i didn't do i didn't take it I did not take this as an overnight. Netflix was in a downtrend all of 2011, mm -hmm. 2012. Because it wasn't as strong as it is now. I no. Mean, once it trade, it added to its portfolio mm -hmm. of original programming. I mean, because Netflix was like a joke. It was like the DVD home get the movie. But the minute really they, see, I don't even know any of that. Well, you see, know more than that. See, I Netflix, do about that. Netflix was at one point, I think, like the in, little engine that could. It was you order movies online, mm -hmm. you know, on your com your DVR, or right, whatever, right, and that was it. And then all of a sudden, whoever the genius is, and maybe I need to Google that, that yeah. came in and said, original programming is where we're gonna go. And then all of a sudden, when was that? When did that happen? I'm thinking probably like two years really? ago. Really? I don't even ago. know that. And that's what all 
of a sudden, uh -huh. they decided to say, okay, we're doing original programming, mm -hmm. people are gonna have membership, and mm -hmm. now, instead of having to wait week, like how you do on HBO, Showtime, yeah, yeah. you're gonna get the whole season with, with your membership. So oh. if you like, for instance, like I don't, I don't have it, but I know a lot of people do, so Orange is the New Black, the okay. one with Kevin Spacey, who everybody loves, um, there's another one, I think Ray Donovan, or uh -huh. maybe that's Showtime, whatever. But now they'll do, they'll film the series uh -huh. when they're like, okay, June 1st, such and such will be available. Okay. You're getting all 13 episodes or 15 episodes. And people like that, yeah. And people like that. Yeah. And you now have more, more people moving to that. Like, I love Chelsea Handler. She left E. Okay. She's going to be doing her talk show on Netflix. I don't know how that's going to work because she was a daily live nightly live show maybe that will still be her format on netflix interesting but now to have a membership now you're not just getting movies now you're getting original the programs yes. and you're getting tv programs yeah. i'm sure it's see i'm sure and that that, that was the too. upswing yeah. and now and then they're winning awards like at the emmys and the you know daytime emmys and the nighttime uh -huh. and so that just adds to well, see, power. that's what's so interesting because, again, I don't follow any of that. But okay. I will tell you that if you traded, right. that would help you get conviction right. to buy Netflix. Right. Okay, I don't even know any of the things that you said. Okay. But if you knew what I knew about right. the gaps right. and the price of Netflix rising in the manner that it has, mm -hmm. and you knew the other stuff that you're talking about right now, right. which mm -hmm. I did not. Okay. okay, which I thought you did. That's no, you no, oh. no, I don't even do anything with that. I okay. have no idea. I don't. All I care about is the price of tea in China. That's all I'm looking at in this chart. I don't care if, any, if the tea is green or red. I really right. don't care. All I'm doing is looking and analyzing the price. It's strictly like numbers, 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 numbers. Okay. You know me. I'm all in my head about that stuff. I don't even look at any of the stuff you're saying, but I'm saying for you. Mm -hmm. That would help you get conviction that. to take it and hold it. I'm telling you, this stock is going to go to 750 That's my prediction for it. The target for Netflix, it closed Friday at 62150. It's gonna have a more than a hundred dollar run before the end of the calendar year. The market's bullish. This stock could hit up right. over a thousand dollars if they don't. And it'll probably pay too to see when new programming is gonna be released because then yeah. the stock will go up well, again. Well, if you wanna track that, I mean, I just don't even have time to look at that stuff. No, but uh, it'll but, be interesting. I'll look up yeah, and yeah, see yeah. when and then kind of give you those numbers and see if things do pour, I mean, it obviously it does, yeah. but yeah, that's interesting. But I'm telling you, that's what's so amazing about this. So I think that was the one you were talking about. I, I just probably, uh, you know, I think I did it in a video maybe I had on YouTube. Right. I didn't have it on a post where I predicted what it would do, but this one here, you know, this is what I talk. So your daily, your daily thing is when you go online in the mm -hmm. morning, yes. you see whatever you trade in, mm -hmm. you do it hour by hour or you do it overnight? No, I'm doing it live in a second. Sometimes I'm in something and out of it in five minutes. Really? Like literally. So you'll put money on something and then take <laughs> it away? Yes. Just like that? Yes. Just like, okay, and trade yes. like, sell, sell, okay. Yes. And what makes you change, like what makes you, let me go here and look I at guess, this. Go ahead. Buy and sell so quickly. Like, because I'm thinking you're over doing it overnight. Like, you're buying, 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 and selling, selling, and then overnight you see. But if you're doing it. Mm -mm. I'm, in, I'm a day trader. You're talking about things like investing a long term, which is fine. You could do that. Well, even as a day trader, uh -huh. look, how do you know what to pop in and out of quickly and how long to stay in something? Because of the gap. Because I have a system that rates the gaps. Okay. And that gap rating system tells me if it rates 20 points or more for the 26 point rating system that okay. it's going to work. And that's how I hone it down, and that's how I narrow it down to the one. Good question. Otherwise, you wouldn't, because there's a trillion things in the market. Every right, day. because I'm thinking, if I went on and said, okay, I'm going to put money in the target, yeah, you and wouldn't target know. is up, how would I know what point to like get out of target and go into it, Macy's it, or something like you that? You wouldn't know unless it was gapping, and I'm not doing it unless it's gapping. But here, just example, mm -hmm. this is just a recent day. I can't all, go all the way back to no, the no, day no. that happened. Right. But I, this was just the 15th of May. The stock had a bullish gap. It just gapped up. But like on this day here, again, okay. it's 940 in the morning. Right. It was around 601-ish. Okay. 1015. If you took it, this is just, you know, 30 minutes here, it ran up to 610. So if you took 100 shares, you right. would have made 1,000 bucks, and you just get quick out. So you make your money. And that's it. An I'm hour out. later, and then you're out. And I mean, you could have held this, actually. It all went all the way up to 615. 
and that was till 10.45, but still, I'm not in this stuff all day. And you know I'm done. I don't do anything in the afternoon. So you, it's just like your quick money in and out. That's exactly and it. And so it's basically, like That's you said, exactly you have it. a formula, but it's basically kind of like hoping it goes No, up I'm not down. hoping. Okay. The formula tells me that it is good for a watch. I still have to wait till 9.30. Right. The market opens at 9.30 Eastern time. Right. right here, this is a one minute chart. Okay. I'm not doing anything until it opens and it sets up. Because sometimes they open and they fail. And then right. they call, they do what's called like a reverse swoosh. Okay. And that's something where I said, oh, that's it, it's off, don't do it. And we didn't risk any money and then I don't lose and I don't make any money right. on it. Right. Okay. And I can't do it, but I wait, mm -hmm. okay? But I'm not doing anything till after 9.30, right. but most of the time, which is why my system works, they do set up, mm -hmm. and then I do them, and then I'm quickly going to get out. Because you're, the longer you're in something, the longer you're at risk. Okay. So and the longer your you. money's tied up. Like if you, do you have a 401k? I used to. I had to use it all up for... Pam works for M... What is it? MLB. This? MLB, mm -hmm. okay. So, well... Let's pretend you had a 401k. That's something right. you're in for years and years and years right. and years and right. years. Which I did with, with Viacom. I did. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is not the same as that. No, I get that. Yeah. Right, because that's all the time. But say if I took, what if I, like if I had $1,000 today and right. if I went into, like I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to say, all right, here I am, putting my money into like Target at 10 o'clock. You keep talking about Target. I'm going to well, Target. Well, I'm just saying Target because I feel like <laughs> okay. they tell you to you use. You love Target. They tell you to use what you, you know, <laughs> buy what you use. Target. Okay. 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 All right. Or whatever. It could be Macy. It could be whoever. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter. Let's look at But me. I'm just saying as a company, mm -hmm. yeah, say like I'm, I'm entering at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, they're high. I'm putting my money, like buying X amount of shares. Yes. At what point do I know to jump out? You're looking for the Target. You would learn to know the Target on the day. You would say this is the target for Target, okay? Okay. <laughs> or target for Netflix, so you know to get out. And you're also looking for a specific time of the day okay. because there's times of the day where the market kind of just goes sideways and doesn't do anything, and you want to be out before that action happens. Because if you're up in the trade, mm -hmm. it could go against you, and you could be up and then give it back, and you don't want that to happen. Okay. Your goal as a day trader is to make the money and be done with it and get on with your day. It's okay. not. It's less is more kind of thing. Like. You're kind of like me. We're very, very workaholics, and so it's a, this is not that way. And this okay. was a, this is why I struggled with this when I first started trading because I was a workaholic and I trade and trade and trade and trade like a crazy person till four o'clock, right. and I'd end up making money, making losing it, making it losing it, making it losing it, and then paying for commissions. This is not like that. You do it. You go in. You like a tiger in the jungle, and you go and you take it, and you're done. Literally. Okay. And you take as much as you can, as quick as you can, and then you're done. And okay. then you're not at risk for that long, so it's good. So when you say you take as much as you can, you're buying or you're selling? Right. I short, but it's the same concept, selling. Okay. Here, this is the one that I did the other day. But let's talk about Target because you're in love with Target. Well, I and just let's... use them as a big company. Hey, this looks good. Let me just look at the bigger picture it here. Be, it could be Home Depot. Target is actually in an uptrend. Target's a good buy. Mm -hmm. Target's a good buy, and the market is bullish, and this is absolutely fine. Okay. This is not as strong as Netflix, but it is very okay. strong. Prior high of, of this was 80, 83.98. Look, so Target's continuing higher. This isn't an ideal place to buy Target if you were a new person, but I want to show you this here. Do you see it gapped up? This was it. This is, looks just like the Netflix here. Very, very similar. Right there. This okay. happened back in November of 2014. for Christmas. Mm -hmm. The holidays. Look at that run. Low is 69.86. High is 73. So the stock ran up more than $3 in the day. Again, I, I can't go back on a one-minute chart to see this, but I can no. tell you right now, 80% of that bar was probably made before 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So you're saying, right, because it's the open up. I go in, I buy whatever. Yes. Now I'm saying, okay, I'm in it for an hour. I don't want to risk any more. Am I selling or am I just getting you, out? You're buying it and then you're selling it. So you're buying it first, you're in it as a buy, and you're selling it to exit the position, and then the money is yours. You're just a temporary, it's a temporary. So when I'm selling it, who's mm -hmm. buying it from me? That's what I want to know. But that's the market. There's always somebody against you in the trade. It's like that Wall Street movie and Gordon Gecko says there's always a winner, always a loser. It's a mm -hmm. zero-sum game. There's always Every time I make money in the market, someone is I'm taking that money from someone else. And that's why you have to know what to do. Because somebody on this day mm -hmm. was trying to short this thing, which was a bad idea. But people, not me, I'm telling you something now that is incorrect. But yeah. sometimes people will look at a gap like this. Uh -huh. From the prior day's close, which was at 67.51, and say, oh, it, it gapped up 
and opened at 71, they'll think it's going to come in and go lower and, go lower and they'll 71. short it. Right. And so when you go to buy it, you're grabbing money and then those people are losing and you're making it and it goes higher and you're up. And then the losers, which were the people who were thinking it was going to fill this gap space, okay. you're taking money from them. You're, you're not actually... You're creating profit for yourself when you trade, but right. you got to be right okay. because you're taking the money from somebody else. And that's why most people lose in the market mm -hmm. because the people that win make boatloads of money. Right. And the people that lose, lose, okay. of which there's just a lot of losers. Right. Mm -hmm. Because they really don't learn what to do. But conceptually, you understand this. And you don't know a thing about the stock market, but you're getting it. No, it was so funny because, like, I mean, even though I didn't see all of Wall Street, one of my favorite movies is Trading Places. Oh my God, and, that's an old one too. Right, and at the end, I keep saying, I try to pay attention. Like at the end, I'm like, uh -huh. why are they buying high? I thought you'd want to buy low. Okay. And then, and then all of a sudden, if you remember, then they go, when it reached a certain point, then they're like, sell, sell. Yes, yes. And everybody's buying it. But I'm like, <laughs> but and I guess for me, I'm saying, wouldn't you rather buy low and sell high? Well, I, I mean, not. it depends what you're doing here. Well, it was orange juice in that case. Oh, but, okay. I forgot. It was but so it was many orange juice. Yeah, and it's, every time I watch it, I try to pay attention. Because mm -hmm. even though it's like a funny movie, yeah. they, they have to portray that part correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're like, they go in, and they're going to, you know, buy high. And <laughs> That's a short, though. And I always though. watch it, and then all of a sudden, it's like, and they have a certain number. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, because they got the stock report. Right. And then they know at that point, because mm -hmm. people are thinking, it's not going to happen. And then they're selling, but then, you know, the Duke's guy had the wrong report. So he's buying up all the stock and they're trying and to get to him and yes. they're telling him, don't, don't buy anymore. Uh -huh. And he's trying to buy up all the stock at the lower price. And then he bankrupts the Duke's because. <laughs> I forget that. Yeah, so and that was just like, so and I always try to pay attention to that part because you I'm like. You saw the Wall Street movie? Not completely, not completely, not oh, completely, no, my yeah, Atlanta. but that was like, uh, mm. Then you didn't see two either? No, no. Oh my gosh, we'll have to rent one of those. We'll have to get them on Netflix. <laughs> Make them some coin. Right. All right, well then let's go over the short concept, because what you're talking about now is the short concept, which is what I prefer to do. But I will tell you that many, many people understand buying, the concept of buying, more than shorting, mm -hmm. okay? Like buying Netflix or Target. But what I like to do, okay? is short. So this is one from last week. This is Marvell. The stock opened at 1406. Low in the day was 1305. Mm -hmm. So the stock dropped a dollar in the day. You wouldn't have made any money if you bought this. You would have made money shorting it. Mm -hmm. So I shorted it. So I was betting that the stock price would go down. Okay. And and it did go down and I was right. This is a gap too. It doesn't look exactly the same as Netflix. It's a drop. It's yeah. yes. Right. But also, the space is not large. It doesn't matter. But I want to point out, the stock closed the night before mm -hmm. at 1437 and the price it opened at gapped because it opened at a price of 1406 mm -hmm. So it opened 31 pennies under the close mm -hmm. from 4 o'clock to 9.30. Mm -hmm. And you just do this in the day, and you're out. And you do it. But you would have but lost money, though. If you had bought it, but I shorted it. Okay. So therefore, you would have made money if you shorted it. Okay, let's go look at a smaller chart. No, no, no. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say, what does shorting it mean? Like, shorting it means... Like, Just buy, like... When you go in, buy it. Well, you're not buying it. You're 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 borrowing it from the broker, wherever okay. you have your account, okay. mm -hmm. and you're saying, Mr. Broker, I'm betting that this stock is going lower. So give me these shares right now. Click, right. click, click. Right. I want 100 shares, 1,000 shares. Okay. I got to have them. Give them to me. I'm betting that the stock price is going lower, it's okay. so I'm, I'm selling it or shorting it. People okay. don't understand the concept of se selling when you don't own something, but as a trader, you can basically sell or short yeah. something without actually owning it. That okay. is a trading so concept. So I get that. You're saying, yes. okay, buy yes. the shares, and then I'm saying, and then right around, turn around and sell it. No, you're oh. selling it first, then buying it. Oh. You're, you're selling it high and buying it low, just like you just explained. That's what they were talking about, I think, in that movie, although it's been so many years since I saw it. Okay, they were yeah. trying to get that guy to lose money, but the one guy was trying to make it. It's the concept of making money on something that's losing price. Right, right. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Because you're betting it's going to go lower. And I will tell you one thing, and this is good for you to know, from whenever you set up your 401k again, most stocks do actually go down in price over time. With the very few exceptions, mm -hmm. companies that people love, Apple, Netflix, Target, 
whatever. But in yeah. general, most socks do mm-hmm. decline in price, right. which is a misnomer thinking that most things go up. That's not true. Right. No, and I know it's like up and down. Because I know when I first started yeah. Viacom, I chose like a basic plan. And then I was like, no, I want to have a handle on what's going on. And right. so I actually kind of paid attention and picked my own little little companies and stuff like that. I did pretty well. But it's uh-huh. like, unfortunately, being out of work. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because I think you missed all of that period when everything kind of fell off the planet. Because that was like 2007, 2008, 2009, when everything was falling. Because if you'd stayed with it, you would just be recouping that back up again now. Yeah. I don't know when you cashed out of it. but Well, I cashed out of it. Yeah, I was already out of it like 2000 and when I lost my job, 2008. So Okay, my well, then you money. missed the downturn. So right. it was okay. Yeah, it was. It, it's just that I had my own downturn. So all my money went whoosh. And so now uh-huh. I do want to start up again, but I want to but wait until my salary goes a little higher. But literally, like, here's the market right now, and I'm just going to talk about the general overall market. If mm-hmm. you find, if you get into anything in a 401k, we have a nice basket of stocks where they, they pick usually, like, these baskets, and they put them right. in Right, they do, right. Yeah. That's what they do, so that if you, if you don't want to pick your own, they have yes. what they call, like, they go by the year that you're born, and then yeah. they have the right. Yeah. The market is higher. The market's going to rally the rest of 2015. It's going to rally into 2016. If even if you contributed the bare bare minimum that they would you would make, mm-hmm. you would you would. This is a good time for you to get into your 401k mm-hmm. and hold it. Okay. Because I'm telling you, the market is going to make a jimongous new move higher, which is unexpected. But I'm telling you, I'm, I'm predicting it. I'm predicting okay. this year. This is going to happen. So whatever they were willing to match, try to do it because you'll yeah, see the benefit. Match. The MLB oh, they don't doesn't match. match. Like, um, How does it work? Viacom matched. MLB doesn't match because they, they think because they give you a pension plan, they don't want to oh, match okay. it. So, so if you contribute something, that's just whatever you contribute. Right. Is that how it works? Exactly. Whatever percentage you choose, that's what you choose. And yeah. what did you have at the last place? Um, the maximum was 5%. They would match the whole thing? They'd match wow. up to 5 And so I was like, okay. After That's either really, after really a good. year or if you were an employee, it was like after so many months or after a thousand hours as a temp. And since I came in as a temp, right after my thousand hours, I went into it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. um, yeah, with MLB, it's like you can join whenever. It's just yeah, they they don't what, match yeah. because they don't give. You, I think a lot of companies probably change their yeah, requirements for that when everything happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with health insurance and all the things that have happened. Yeah, really, changes. we lucked out. They're paying for health insurance. Really? They well, that's do. Fantastic that is then. fantastic. That's why that's I said like, I need to hit up wow. all my doctors. And I, I said, you know what? Can't complain for not matching. No, that's because like really expensive. They're paying yeah. For, right. Yeah, and because even at Viacom, I had to pay, but I always, you know, wanted the plan where I chose my own doctor. Oh, but, yeah, okay. Um, so it's like it's Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's okay. That's good. I prefer um, yeah. United Healthcare, but, you know, my doctor. Only the only one of my doctors isn't on there, so I need to find another. Well, that's great if they pay for that. They they do, they do exactly. That right there is like a yeah, yes, a a weight off. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the overall general market here. That's you can just see it's rallying. It's been rallying, and people are saying the rally is going to end, but I'm predicting that it's going to continue. You'll see this again on my Facebook post where I'll predict it to continue. Mm But this is something where, you know, if you wanted to get involved and hold overnight, which I'm not saying that you should do, but I'm saying if you wanted to get involved in holding stocks overnight for longer term moves, whether it is in a 401k or just in a trade that you take mm-hmm. for like a swinger core trade, it is a good idea to be bullish in something overnight as long as it's a good buy or a strong stock. Target was one. Mm-hmm. Netflix is another one. That would be good. But that's not what I do again. I do the things where I'm quick, quick out. Just a couple of hours yeah. or minutes and you're in it. It literally actually. could be a few minutes. Like going back to the one from, from Friday. Um, and you have to be on your game when you're doing this, which which is fine. And what do you trade till about noon? No. I mean, I run the room till 11. I'm out of things usually by 10, 15, 10, 30. Okay. I mean, sometimes I'm out of something in five minutes. That's the best. In an ideal oh, world. You don't, you don't do multiple ones. Do you or? Usually I do one thing a day, or I might do two trades in one thing, or I might do two trades, mm-hmm. one trade in two different things, but that's even rare. I mean, because it's really, you only need one you have, thing. You have to focus on yes, one I thing at a time. Right? On one thing. Like, see this here? This happened and set up here, like, right <coughs> at nine 9.33-ish. Mm-hmm. You see this? Boom. The price dropped. So if you shorted this here, like, around 14.10, it just went... And it just collapsed. And it moved 60 cents, literally, in 10, 12 minutes. Mm. So let's just say you had 1,000 shares of this here. Mm-hmm. 
and you got the 60 cent drop, you would have made 600 bucks in 10 minutes. That's it, your day's done. Oh, so even a drop, you still would have made money. Because I'm shorting. Now tell me, you see, you're having trouble with the concept. I, I want to explain it to you. I need yeah. to be able to explain this better. Help me understand what you're thinking. I guess because I think for me, I'm thinking that if I'm, why am I, why am I making money on something I'm losing money on? Or why would I buy something that's losing money? You're not buying it. You are borrowing the shares from the broker. Okay, so then what's the difference between buying and borrowing? Well, when you buy it, you are saying, I'm going to buy it, and I'm betting it goes up, and I'm buying it, but I'm still giving it back to them before 4 Mm o'clock. So it's really still you're borrowing it. Because you don't have the full price of the cost. Like, for example, Netflix is $600 a share. You would need $600 to buy one share. And you would need, you know, to buy 100 shares, 60 grand. Right. You don't have 60 grand in your account. The broker doesn't care. The broker is just letting you temporarily borrow it, and you're flat by four with what's called leverage. Okay. So the concept of shorting, though, is, Mm -hmm. again, you don't need the cost of the stock at $14.10, but if you did, this is a cheaper one. Mm -hmm. It would be $14.10 per share, or if you got wanted 1,000 shares, it would be 14 grand, Mm -hmm. but you'd be borrowing it temporarily from the broker, but you're borrowing it, and you're betting it to to go lower so you are shorting it or selling it Let, let's use the concept selling because you understand selling you don't understand shorting so i'm going to say selling you're selling it you're selling it without owning it okay which is a trading concept tell me if you get that i get i get the concept of selling it without owning it okay but i guess i figure that if it's something that i'm borrowing on yeah why would i even borrow it if it's going to go if because it's gonna you're going to make money because you're going to make money but it's going to drop Yes, you're going to make money because you're betting it will drop. So that's why you're not buying it and why you are selling it. See, okay, I didn't know that you could still, that you would want to still get something that was going to drop. Why wouldn't you? Because it's going to drop and you lose money. That's you're not only going to lose money if you own it long. If, you're, if you don't own it at all. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know about all the, the short yes. terms. It's like either I know you buy it and you hold it and overnight it's boom. But I didn't know about the... No, like, you don't own it at all. You don't even know what this is. This is MRVL. You have, this isn't like you're in love with Target. This is just like whatever. Right. You get up in the morning and you see every day I trade something different. I don't even know right. what these companies are, what they do. I don't read the reports. I don't follow them. Nothing. Right. I read the gap. Right. And the gap's saying, whoo, this price is going to drop. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I see an opportunity to make money. So you have this, but the average person who goes in, how do they look at the gap? Do they have to go every day and look at, watch the numbers change? They have to go in every day and read the gap. Now, I'm going to go back. But this kind of ahead. chart, is that available to everybody? To what do you mean? You can. There's freestockcharts.com. You can go online and look at these charts. I could send you the link. You could do it yourself tomorrow. And, and then them. you can look at and see what. Yes. And just kind of pay attention to see what the, who did yes. what or whatever. Okay. You, you need an account at a brokerage place to take the live position. But right. you could watch charts. I mean, charts are available freely anywhere, anywhere. And then you'll see what happens like minute by minute or. It's live. Live, yeah. Okay. But anyways, here's the gap on this. This gapped here at the night before. Right. Mm-hmm. And then these little lines here are called ticks. It's a share that went off. And then these bars are some people. Okay, so this is happening here before the open. So that means that they just like no position. It's just flat. Like- well, it's flat, but there were some people in here that were making the price go down a little bit. <laughs> and how do you make it go down? Like they... These people were selling their position or shorting, either okay. one. They made it go down from the night before. This isn't a big one down, mm-hmm. okay. but it's a little bit down, and it was enough for me to rate it. Okay. So I rate the gap, and I say, I can see from the gap that this is going to drop on the day. Okay. And it did go to the dream target. The dream target was 13. It went to 13.05. This is a, this is a massive move. Look at the size of the bar. I mean, you, don't have to be, you don't have to know anything. You know that's a massive, massive right. sell-off cool. day for right. that stock. Yeah. But I'm saying this concept of shorting, think of it as selling because of the fact that that will conceptually help you understand how you make the money on it. Right. You don't own it long, therefore you're not losing if it falls. Right. If you want to make money, you got two choices. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you would either do nothing, which you're not going to make any money, right. or you decide to sell it or short it mm-hmm. so that you can make money on the drop. Right. You're right. making money on the drop. So if you if you see here, let's just say you lived in a world and there was only one stock to trade on Friday and it was this one. You saw the gap and you'd say, crap, I know that this is going to drop. If I buy it, I'm going to lose. 
So I can't buy it and make money. Mm -hmm. What can I do? If I short it or sell it, I will make money. Therefore, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. It, like, let's just say you have to make money every day because this is your living and this is what you do and you okay. have to do something. So to do that, if you were going to, whether you borrow or buy whatever, mm -hmm. um, well, I'll say as far as borrow, how do you, if you don't have a broker, can you yourself go in and no, choose a you have to have a broker. To borrow. You have to have a broker. Okay. You have to have a platform. You don't have to have a broker to buy, but you have to have a broker to no, buy. No, you have to have a broker to buy or sell. But, like, for instance, like E-Trade. It's like, That's a broker. That's a broker. Oh, account. but they said that you do it yourself. You do do it yourself. You, you, you will learn how to do it yourself. You go, Poof, and you press the button, and you do it yourself. Okay. E-Trade would teach you how to do it. They have customer service people. Right, but I'm saying on E-Trade, I get that you could buy, but on E-Trade you could borrow too? You can, you can There would be a, like a tab that says borrow. There would be whatever. a tab, and you would have to learn how to do it. Most people don't know that that exists. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This is why this is a new concept for you, And but I'm it's telling right, you. Right, it is. Right, yeah. so I'm saying if you went in and like, you know, if it had like A, B, C, tab, like you would choose, <laughs> like, with, okay, say it was like XYZ um, company and you wanted right. to buy. Right, I said, okay, I'm going to buy 100 shares. And it would say either would I want to buy 100 shares or borrow 100 shares. It would give me that option. Well, again, let's go or back to the selling concept. Sell. You're borrowing it to sell. Just make sure you put the sell in there. You're, buying is buying. Borrowing to sell is to borrow to short. It's just so you don't But that concept. would be an option. Yes. That would be there to You have choose. to learn how to do it through wherever you had your account. Okay. Yes, exactly. But it, it is available, but most people don't know that. Okay. They only know buy or sell. Or... Exactly. Okay. Because if you're not a trader, you don't you don't know any of this. Right. Then that's why people get traders to know to watch the money and to. to right. And stockbrokers and so on and so gotcha, forth. Gotcha. But it's the idea, though, that also I will tell you, most people love the idea of buying. It makes them feel good that they uh, own something. Yes. Yeah. Right. But this, you're not trying to be in this long term. So the concept of shorting it or selling it temporarily, mm -hmm. you should take it or leave it. You're just doing it for the purpose of making the money, right. which you are taking for yourself. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what do you care? I mean, this thing could actually recover. I'm not saying it's going to. Right. But right. this could recover tomorrow. It's just a temporary thing on the day. It's right. Right. Okay. Okay. And that's today? Or the no, this was Friday. Friday. Okay. And maybe because of the holiday coming up, who knows? Yeah. Marvell. Yeah, that was the, the one. Toilet here. paper. <laughs> <clears throat> but again, it's the idea, though, that you can do that. You just okay. didn't know you could do that. Right. You right. have to learn how to do it from mm -hmm. pressing the button, but it's like not a big deal. It's okay. just a different button. Okay. <laughs> I got you now. Okay. But it's the idea, though, that you have to pick the right one. If you don't know that this is a good gap right. down that's going to drop, then you wouldn't know to even press that button. So that's this is what I teach people in the class and what I do in the trading room. I can pick this one and say, woo, you know, that's a good one. And I think that's what you see in the post where I'm predicting things or saying. And then you teach really, people really how, to, how to pick a good gap. Yes. High or low. Yes. Okay. As opposed to looking at that and going. I've well, that what... dropped like fifty a, a dollar. <laughs> Why would I choose that? Right. Okay. Well, if the if you if you rolled out of bed in the morning and you saw this here around you know ten thirty, right? You could have shorted this and still made money in it. But nine times out of ten, what happens is these drops happen very quickly. We right. see most of the drop happen by eleven thirty. Right. It reached thirteen sixteen. It and went like, ten more pennies for the rest of the day. It went up. It went down. It went up and down. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to know what to do to get it quickly in the morning to get the best price to get the biggest move, mm -hmm. because most of the move happens in the morning. Right. And if you don't get that or don't know what to watch, then you then you miss your chance to make money. And this is like, you know, this is like hell on wheels in here. If you're trying to short this in here, you're like you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. You make yeah. ten cents. Right. Like, I don't like to do that. And then you're also sweating a bullet for three hours and you make 10 cents. Like, mm -hmm. this is what I want to get. I want it to go, <clears throat> you know, really, really quickly and fall off a planet mm -hmm. or rally like the Netflix very quickly. So that's what you want to do. Again, it's the idea where you're taking the fixed trade in a certain thing, mm -hmm. but you have to know what to look for, which which I teach in the class. I remember class. there was an episode. I don't know if you ever watched. Um, what? Oh, God. What was it? The Big Single. Did you ever watch that with Tina? That was like 100 years ago, yeah. I remember the episode because Pa was a broker. And I don't remember that episode. It was and, so long and ago. That was an episode uh -huh. where they all put their money in yeah. to have him, you know, to put in the market to make money. Right. And so when he came home that day, they were like, how do we do? And he threw a quarter <laughs> on the table. Uh -huh. And they were like, that's all we made? He goes, because every hour you guys were calling me, bye. 
fell by that's fell hilarious. by fell. He goes, so that's what you made twenty five cents. He goes, may I make a recommendation for you for the next time? You're like uh-huh. what? And he pulls out a piggy bank. Boom! Right there. Oh that's where you should put God. your money. I was crying. I, I don't like, remember that one. That's yeah, that funny. was funny because they like you know they don't show them calling, but when he got yeah. home that day, he threw whatever was like a quarter or whatever a nickel on the table. And they were like, what do we make? He's like, that's what you made. But see, that's the yeah. concept of what we were talking about <laughs> with the Netflix is the idea of the conviction. I have a lot of conviction in what I do. Right. So right. I know what I'm looking at, I believe in it, I have 100% conviction, and I take it and I do it, and I know it for the number that I'm out at the number. You have to have conviction, otherwise you are, that's what I call wishy-washy. That's right. what, how most people are. Right. They are like, should I tell, blah, 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 blah. Right. you know, that's, you can't make money like that in the mm-hmm. market. Whether you hold it overnight, or even if you're in it for five minutes, you can't make any money doing that. That's why you have to really, 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 really know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But if you do, and you have the conviction, you can do it, whether you hold them for overnight or do it very quickly. I just personally like to do it the quick ones. Okay. But you can hold them as well, but again, you have to have the conviction. And this is where people, that 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 episode probably I should Google it on YouTube because I mean that that sounds funny because that is how people act <laughs> right. as day traders or long term right, traders is right. exactly how people act right and then they made no money because they kept telling him to or buy they lost stuff. money they lost them well they did yeah. they lost money because yeah. every time they were telling him buy this sell you know and and, and you, when you have it's better if it's one person but when you have like five people oh my gosh, calling yeah. you on the same money you're yeah. like oh my god you know and. And that's what stockbrokers have to deal with as well when they yeah. have clients that do that. I don't know. Do you have any other questions about this? This is a good discussion. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So now I learned. It's so really... now it's like maybe when I'm at work tomorrow, I'll look for like a... I will send a, you the a, link. A link, and then yeah. I can start paying attention to see. Well, maybe, you should watch the Maybe I could buy like. some, maybe, maybe buy something like really cheap that I could get into. <laughs> <laughs> just watch. Well, you should watch the ones you like. At least right. to kind of learn, at least the movement, you can watch the charts. Right. You can watch the target buy, I chart. I can't buy or borrow because it's not, well, borrow, you don't need the money, right? You're well, no, it. either way, you have to have the money in there to borrow it temporarily. Right, okay. For the cost of it. But right. it's cheaper because you get leverage, meaning okay. you don't need the exact price of it. Because if you needed the exact price of anything to trade anything, right. Everyone, the market would only be available to people that were very wealthy. But the great thing is that the market is available to anyone mm-hmm. that wants to learn how to trade it. Right, okay. You know. All right, this okay. is Melissa with Pam. Thank you, Pam. You're it was a welcome. good question session by Pam. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Happy Memorial Day, everyone, and have a great evening. <laughs>